With the success of NASA's Apollo mission, humanity first sets its foot on the moon on July 20, 1969, laying the groundwork for future space exploration. It has been 55 years since the last manned journey to the moon. However, the moon exploration wave is once again on the rise, with countries expressing interest in rare mineral extraction and helium-3 mining for fuel. In addition, a number of nations are working to construct long-term space stations on the moon in order to conduct additional space research that could lead to a visit to Mars or beyond. However, there remains a barrier to building that fleet and getting materials and people to the moon more often. To address this, NASA has proposed several Artemis missions, which will send humans to the moon once again and construct a moon space station in lunar orbit, whose construction will start by 2028. Let us examine how NASA is attempting to construct a space station on the moon. Welcome to our channel, The Cosmic Fugue. The Lunar Gateway is a cutting-edge space station designed to orbit the moon, making lunar expeditions more viable and accessible. The Gateway will serve as the foundation for our return to the lunar surface, beginning with Artemis IV mission in 2028. Think of the Gateway as a spaceport, a mini-hub in space where astronauts can prepare for their lunar adventures with modules from international partners and docking ports for the Orion spacecraft. It's a marvel of international collaboration and advanced technology. But the main question arises, how are we going to construct this? The Artemis program builds on the legacy of Apollo, aiming to land the first woman and the next man on the moon by 2025. This mission is about more than just landing on the moon. It's about staying there. With the SLS rocket and the Orion spacecraft, NASA is paving the way for a long-term human presence on the lunar surface. And the Gateway plays a crucial role in this vision. It will not only support missions to the Moon's South Pole, but also serve as a launch pad for future expeditions to Mars. It's our stepping stone to the Red Planet and beyond. Let's take a closer look at the Gateway itself. This incredible animation released by NASA shows us the future in stunning detail. The propulsion and power systems are particularly impressive. With its solar arrays, the Gateway will be the most powerful solar electric spacecraft ever flown. These arrays will power the station's systems and ionize xenon gas to produce thrust using an advanced ion propulsion system, maintaining its orbit around the moon. At the heart of the Gateway is the Habitation and Logistics Outpost, or HALO. Provided by the European Space Agency, ESA, HALO will control and command the spacecraft, support life support systems, and house vital communications links to Earth and the lunar surface. International collaboration is key to the Gateway's success. ESA, in partnership with the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, JAXA, is developing essential systems for environmental control and life support. Without these, life on board would be impossible. And there's more. From a refueling capability to keep the propulsion system topped up, to a crew and science airlock and cutting-edge science payloads, the Gateway is equipped to handle a variety of missions and research. The Lunar Gateway is more than just a space station. It's our gateway to the future of space exploration. With its groundbreaking design and international cooperation, it's set to transform how we explore the Moon and beyond. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned as we continue to explore the final frontier together.